Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual, guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research. Two videos on a Sunday. Yes, even though it's a Sunday, the game don't start. For those who don't understand that the electric vehicle industry is here to stay and will create a lot of millionaires if you invest early, just like the people who invested in Bitcoin early, in the internet revolution early, into the phone and oil industries early. Perhaps this video will help shed light into waking you up to get out of being a middle class person and become part of the 1%. But before we go on today's video, all I ask is for you guys to hit that thumbs up right there because it takes a lot of time to do these research and the editing. And as usual, I'll put a link for the Facebook uh, Neo Bull Group that Zaheer, one of my subscribers, and I started on Facebook. And to set the stage for today's video, take a look at this clip and then we shall continue. But I mean, the, the thing, so from when I last spoke, because I'd love to talk to you about the kind of global transition in the automotive industry, because it is yes. it is obviously such a, it's big, it's happening, and it's very disruptive, I think is a, it would be a fair description. Since the last time we talked, so much has changed and so much hasn't. Yeah. Um, what hasn't changed is that electric cars continue to grow quickly around the world. What has changed is the winners and losers are changing dramatically and it will change the landscape of not only our industry, but the industrial manufacturing footprint around the globe. Um, and, and that is very disruptive. We always thought the most disruptive part of our transformation would be going to advance electric architectures and, and software enabled cars. And although that is really transforming the industry, 70% um, of all electric cars made on the globe are made in one country, China. Yeah. Wow. Uh, it is after 70%. I didn't realize 70%. that. 70%. Wow. All right, guys, welcome back. So we all know, well, at least most of us who are subscribed to this channel, that electric vehicles are here to stay and it will continue to grow. And eventually, even in America, even though the oil companies are fighting it, it will eventually come here in a massive way. The only reason why it's suppressed right now is because of range anxiety. But what if I tell you that in China, there is no range anxiety anymore? That was proven over the New Year, the Chinese New Year holiday that just ended where if one guy drove like 5,000 kilometers with his Neo <clears throat> without range anxiety because Neo is littering the landscape. This e Chinese electric EV company is littering the landscape with battery swapping stations where you can swap in less than five minutes and you go again. They also have more charging EV charging stations than any other EV company in China. So the question of this article is NEOs, that's the name of the electric vehicle company, by the way, the most advanced electric vehicle company in the world, the most innovative, the most luxurious. It says NEOs charging revolution, are gasoline cars becoming obsolete? Begs the question. NEO introduces revolutionary battery swap technology enabling under five minute battery exchanges and eliminating traditional charging wait time. So you pull in, a robot change your battery. You don't even have to pull in, you press a button in the car, a robot drives the car in, another robot change your battery, in less than five minutes you go again. It says the company is advancing global expansion. So this is not just in China, we already in uh, Germany, Norway, Denmark, and a few other countries. We're going into the middle, we already into the Middle East. We're gonna go through North Africa, and ASEAN countries, possibly including England and Australia this year. So it says the company is advancing global expansion efforts to facilitate seamless cross-continental travel, seamless cross-continental travel with strategic deployment of battery swap stations. So millionaires, when people who invest now are going to become millionaires, just like the people who invested in Bitcoin early on. Neo explores wireless charging technology as well to enable on the move recharging, promising enhanced convenience for EV users. 
These innovations position Neo as a leader, as the leader in my opinion, in the shift towards sustainable transportation, setting industry benchmarks and challenging competitors. Now, as a disclaimer, Neo is my biggest holding. I have 15,898 shares and I continue to buy because I truly believe I'll become a millionaire with this company. I missed the boat on Bitcoin where I could have made a lot more money, but I'm not missing the boat on this one. In the fast-paced world of electric vehicles, NEO is electrifying the landscape with game-changing charging innovations that blend sustainability with efficiency. As the spotlight turns to renewable energy solutions, NEO is not just joining the race, but leading it, leading it with revolutionary breakthroughs. So we are leading it with revolutionary breakthroughs all the time. So for example, not just battery swapping and having the most charging, we have the highest voltage charging. We, have, we make our own chips for the driverless technology, which we're releasing in our new NT platforms this year, 2025. Starting with the most luxurious advanced electric vehicle in the world, it's called the ET9. So it says we're leading it with revolutionary breakthroughs. Imagine never having to wait for hours at a charging station again. I know it sounds impossible, but yes, you don't have to wait hours anymore like with a Tesla. It says, Neo's cutting edge battery swap technology eliminates the tiresome weights endemic to tra traditional EV charging by allowing drivers to exchange their depleted batteries for fresh ones in under five minutes and you go again. This leap in technology not only alleviates range anxiety, but redefines convenience for EV users everywhere. Neo also is making phones that connect to their cars. So soon you'll be able to call the car and tell the car to go on charge and the car will obey. And uh, Sorry, swap the battery, obey and come back and wait for you. No, this is not science fiction to my American audience. This is real. Neo's ambitious extend beyond more innovation. The company is charting a path for a global expansion that could turn dreams of seamless cross-continental EV travel into reality by strategically deploying battery swap stations worldwide. And for some people who are saying, well, it'll, be, it'll cost too much, Neo has a genius business model where they, where they have partnerships so the partnerships make battery swap enable models with our technology and their customers pay us to use our battery swap stations. It's genius. NEO aims to erase geographical barriers, accelerating the adoption of electric vehicles across all corners of the globe. Locking further down, looking further down the road, excuse me, NEO's foray into wireless charging beckons a future where EVs might recharge while on the move potentially turning long distance travel into a hassle-free experience. Such groundbreaking advancements suggest a future where EVs could match and even eclipse, and even eclipse the convenience of traditional gasoline vehicles. And we see it coming, just like the way the horse and the carriage, sorry, the cars replace the horse and the carriage, and then more modern cars replace that, and then um, hybrids started replacing gas cars, now the electric vehicle revolution is here. Are you going to capitalize on it? Or are you going to stay poor and die poor? That begs the question. That is up to you, my dear lads. So it says, with each stride forward, Neo is setting a new benchmark, nudging the industry towards a more sustainable future. So we're not polluting the, and destroying our ozone layer. As global attention shifts towards eco-friendly solutions, NEO emerges as a beacon of innovation, challenging competitors and leading humanity towards an electrified tomorrow. And remember guys, for those who don't know, our battery swap stations have the most advanced solar panels in the world that charges the battery for free and then sells energy back to the grid. So the, when the grid is under stress, which is a big problem here in America, and I've said that before, if everyone drives an electric car, the grid cannot handle it. But if NEO comes here, the battery swap station will help balance the grid. The future of transportation is changing and NEO is in the driver's seat. This is how we know that we in the right electric vehicle company, because a lot of the others will fall to the wayside, especially those that don't adopt the battery swapping. The electric vehicle company is quietly revolutionizing the future of mobility. NEO's battery swap 
Technology is indeed a groundbreaking development for EV owners plagued by range anxiety. Traditional EV charging can take hours where Neo's approach allows drivers to swap their depleted batteries for a fully charged one in under five minutes. How does Neo expansion ex impact the global EV market? How does it impact the global EV market is another question. Neo's ambitious global expansion is likely to have significant repercussions on the global EV market by strategically placing battery swap stations worldwide, worldwide, it is the future of gas stations. NEO is helping to diminish the limitations set by geographical constraints, thus fostering a more seamless transition to electric vehicles on a global scale. The strategy could accelerate the adoptions of EVs, making them more appealing to a broader audience. And this is the key here. You have to make it appealing to the broader audience. And how do you do that? With the most advanced technology in the world, as well as with, with them knowing there's no range anxiety. Wherever they go, they can find a battery swap station. They go to the beach, they can find one. They go to, I don't know, a, a park, they can find one. Like the Yellowstone National Park here in America. So it says, Neo's global footprint could potentially redefine the competitive landscape, presenting other manufacturers to pressuring, sorry, other manufacturers to innovate or risk falling behind. And this is why I've always said, competition creates innovation and that's why they need NEO here. What are the prospects of NEO's wireless charging inno innovation? Excuse me guys, the prospects of NEO's wireless charging innovation are nothing short of transformative. This technology could enable vehicles to recharge while on the move, a development that would single-handedly eliminate the downtime associated with traditional charging methods. By integrating wireless charging into the future of EV infrastructure, such advancement promised to make long-distance EV travel nearly as seamless as traditional gasoline-powered travel. If NEO success succeeds in making wireless charging, ubiquitous it will set new benchmarks for convenience and efficiency in electric vehicle industry so some people may say i already know they're going to put in the comment section well if they make wireless charging where you, as you drive you charge it will make battery swapping stations obsolete wouldn't it money making mitch no my dear lads common sense and critical thinking what will happen is some people always buy their cars with the battery and those are the ones who will be using the system until it's time to sell their car and the battery is done and then they sell it to perhaps say UXIN, the largest used car online platform in China. They will take it and then they will sell it to a customer and the customer will rent a battery from CATL who is getting ready to put out a lot of battery swap stations in China for the lower end cars as well as for the used car market. Boom! Boom! And for the person who choose to rent the battery with NEO, will always be able to use the battery swap station. Genius. This is how I know we will become millionaires with this company. Like I've said before, we've missed the boat on Bitcoin very early on. We missed the boat on the internet revolution. People saying, who would need internet? Who would need computers? Who would need cell phones, etc., etc. And they missed the boat and they stayed poor and they will die poor. Not us. So I hope you guys found this video on a Sunday yet again to be informational, inspirational, and motivational. And so guys, do not forget to hit that thumbs up. A lot of people still forgetting to hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, you might want to think about doing so because this channel we are waking up the middle class for the first time to get a major piece of the pie from the ground level up as to how the game is played on Wall Street. And like 57, we get rich or we die trying, guys.